We gonna we will make a kid friendly elephant toothpaste where you guys can play with it and touch it. That's why we're gonna use three percent hydrogen peroxide versus six percent or thirty percent, which can make a larger toothpaste. But we want to make sure you guys have fun with it. We're also using a little bit of dish soap, yeast, food col uh, food coloring, and water. And for safety, we're gonna have some eye protection. Are you guys ready to get going? Yes! First, we're going to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in the bottle. Go ahead, Zach. And uh, hydrogen peroxide is what you probably have in your medicine cabinet to clean wounds, but apparently it doesn't work that good. It just bubbles on top of your skin. So we can use it for our experiment. My turn. Yep, Eli's turn. Now let's add four or five drops of food coloring. That's enough, Eli. Whoa, it looks green. Oh, it looks green. That's a good job. Good job, Zach. That's enough. Like We're going to mix it up a little bit, shake it a little bit. That's good. Zach, now one squirt of dishwashing soap. Just give it one squirt. Just the average squirt. Just a squirt. That's good. That's good. You don't want to put too much. That one was kind of messy. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see, Eli. Okay. Focus, focus. That's good. That's good. No more, no more, no more. Perfect. Now we're mixing one tablespoon of dry yeast with about three, three and a half ta tablespoons of warm water. It is. It's a catalyst. Do you know what catalyst is, Zach? It will speed up the process. It will speed up the re reaction, so it will go by quick. And now we are ready to put the yeast, the catalyst, into the bottle. Eye protection. And you'll notice, quick, 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 put it quicker. All right, and now observe the reaction. And you'll notice the bottle is going to be warm as well. And it is yeah, safe for you to touch. Look at this, it's still going. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to touch it. It's still going. And it looks like a toothpaste, right? Oh, wait, can you use it as toothpaste? No, but you can play with it. You don't have to, you can stay in your seat, Eli. I don't want to do, I don't want to stay in your seat. I just want to bring it closer. Dude, it's still going, what the heck? Yeah, it's still going. Oh, crazy. Let's go on like the same as that. Yes, oh, sir. mine's going faster! Hey, turn it here so we can see how it's going. Mm. Eli. Very nice. No, this way, the other way. Oh, oh that's you know, like messy. soap, Dad. Messy, <laughs> yeah. messy, messy. Is it soap? Oh. everywhere. Messy, 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 right. messy. You guys can take your uh, glasses off. But the foam bubble is very safe for you guys to touch. It's actually filled with oxygen, it's basically soap and foam and oxygen. It's so hot. That's so hot. That would you use this as soap. It is warm, right? Yeah, you can use it as soap. soap. Exactly. Do you know what is it called, the reaction? Because we not only made foam, we also generated heat. And it's called exothermic reaction. So you basically created two things. Created two things. Foam. And, uh, and you generated heat. Oh, uh, still, bye. And also make sure to subscribe and like that. And also, you can do this at home. Somebody do it at home.